Cody, how are you, mate? Hey, how are you? Yeah, good, good. Hey, I've got you on speaker with Rob and Andrew. How you doing? Oh, right, eh? Hey, bud. How you going? Yeah, all good. Hey, we've got an idea for a new jacket. Yep. And we want your help to design it because you spend so much time out in the bush. Oh, good. So um, the concept that we've got is um, we want to film the whole process of uh, developing this jacket, um, you know, right from concept um, through to, you know, making samples and sending them to you to test and you're thrashing the crap out of it and, and also the production side and at our factories. So, um, yeah, would you be keen on being part of this? Yeah, I'm definitely um, keen on that. Awesome. Alright, well, we'll uh, we might jump on a plane then and come down and see you. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Okay, mate, we'll chat soon. Righto, catch you later. Cheers, see mate. See ya. Bye. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, In my travels I've been pretty keen to get the trophy of each species. We've got a 14 inch bull, three pretty big chamois, a couple of 10 inches, big rooster, public land rooster. That was five years work. I love the challenge of being in their zone and, and then you learn so much because you've got to watch an animal and take your time to figure out what is going to happen, what, you know, what's going to unfold. G'day, I'm Cody Weller and um, I'm a professional hunter. We're out here today in the Marlborough High Country with Cody Weller. It's the, the end of March, so hopefully we're um, going to hear a few stags roaring. Cody and, and Sam have kindly invited us along to see their neck of the woods and see what bow hunting's all about up here and uh, the weather's brilliant. Perfect time to talk about jackets. Cody probably hunts more in a month than most of us do in a year. In your average week Cody, how many hours would you put in? Oh, I'll be 35 to 40 hours a week. Be about 300 days a year. Your mum's a pretty keen hunter and a well known author. At what age did she get you out in the hills? Oh, as a small baby, I think they were sort of cutting me around in a banana box from pretty early on. Yeah, <laughs> pretty, pretty early start. What is it that drives you as a hunter and keeps you going back? Oh, for me, like the bow hunting is a awesome challenge. Um, trying to secure trophies of different species, and also then getting a bit of meat as well. So, yeah, it's. But yeah, it's just the burning, the challenge. Yeah, can't can't have enough of it actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You split your time between hunting with a rifle for work and bow hunting for fun in your spare time. There must be a lot of stuff that, that sort of crosses over that as far as gear goes. What are your sort of key things that you go on every hunt with you? Boots, jacket, and then your next to skin layer. When you're out and about hunting, what's sort of the most important thing you try and keep in the back of your mind? Always trying to stay dry, um, whether that be your boots, because your feet, you know, if your feet are soft from being wet and you're doing a 12 hour day, your feet don't last, you know, you just, you want to stay dry, dry is comfortable, so. Yeah. Our jackets obviously are our first line of defence when it comes to staying dry. Yeah. What sort of features do you look for in a, in a good raincoat? I guess like packable, yep. you know, like you cut your jacket around in your day bag or your pack everywhere you go, so you don't want something that's huge. Does this jacket have wing function? <laughs> <laughs> and what about things like, you know, where the pockets are or how many pockets it's got and how fast it dries and that sort of thing? I guess, you know, like um, pockets need to be refined. You know, you know sort of 
big bulky pockets. You have things like bino harnesses and everything's sort of becoming a bit more independent. You don't need to have a pocket for your binoculars or a, or a pocket for your you know, various different stuff. You just want to keep it slim lined, yep. keep that weight down. So as far as jackets go, in the current Hunter's Element range we've got jackets like I'm wearing which are a hard faced jacket designed for more rugged environments and we've also got jackets like the one you're wearing which is a bit quieter. What do you prefer basically or does it depend on the hunting situation you're in? Yeah I guess with work you know like I prefer that type of jacket you know you can lay down on the rocks and you know, if you need to, when you're shooting and stuff like that. But obviously when you're bow hunting and you're sneaking around, you want to be, you know, nice and quiet, as quiet as you possibly can be. Yeah. Um, and still be waterproof. So for you, your average hunter, we've got to really put some effort into try and find a balance there between yeah. something that's durable, something that's quiet, and something that's going to pack down well and something that's going to dry quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think like these full length zips help with your drawing. Yep. Um, you know, you pull over jackets when you've got to hang them up on a bush. You know, that's two two layers that you've got to try and dry. But we, you know, you unzip this, drape it over that bush there. Yeah. You know, it's dry in no time. And what about hoods? Do you prefer a, a fixed hood that comes right forward and, and moves with your head? Or do you prefer a pack away hood? Or, you know, what sort of. Yeah, I think the fixed hood with the with a bit of a you know, a bit of a peak to stop that and then the ability to be able to tighten it up, you know, when you you know, when you've got to walk into the wind and, and it's trying to rip the hood off of your head. Yep. You've got to have those abilities and then obviously you wanna be able to turn your head and the hood goes with your face. And obviously cuffs, you know, I mean we're sort of looking at every point where water can be potentially get in. Yeah, I guess this this being able to seal it off would be a major advantage. Yep. Just, um, you know, because if you're reaching or, you know, drop something in the river and you've got to reach down and pull it out, then, yep. you know, the water's just going to shoot up, go into your core layer and then slowly work its seat. And the length of jacket's got to be long enough to sit down on? Oh, definitely. Yeah. You get a day like this and you want to be sitting there glassing, you don't want to, you know, if you can avoid it, you want to be able to sit on something that's going to keep your ass dry. Cody, how are you mate? Good, good. Um, how's that jacket going for you? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good so far. How do you find the fit so far? I'm taking the cuts pretty spot on actually. I'm really liking it, like it's big enough to stick the puffer under and stuff like that. So yep. Liking the length, packs down well for an outer layer rain jacket. 
And that fabric's not too noisy for you? No, I'm liking the, the, the soft fabric, but I don't think it's shedding well enough. That's right, right. we can improve that pretty easily. Pocket layout's all right? Yeah, don't mind the um, the waist pockets, but the chest pockets don't. You know, I use a wide harness, so as far as storage for your optics goes, probably doesn't worry me much, but I am finding it real handy for a uh, cell phone. Yeah, cool. And it's been pretty waterproof and reasonably breathable for you? Yeah, so had it out in the wet bush, you know, and, and yeah, breathable enough, like you still get a little bit damp, but uh, keeping up with how much you sweat when you're climbing hills. Oh, it sounds pretty positive. What do you, what do you reckon we should change on the next one? Off with the cuffs, you know. They may be warm, but they add a bit of weight to it, I reckon, and, and they don't dry that quick. Probably, you know, look at that shell layer. Um, no, too easy, mate. We'll, um, I'll get back to the uh, drawing board and get back in contact with the factory and we'll get, it, um, we'll get another sample on the way. Cody, how are you? Good, good. So you've been out and about and you've had another go on that, um, in the sample number two? Yep, so it's obviously um, a bit, um, the outer layer's a bit harder yep. uh, compared to the other one. So yeah, it's definitely shedding, shedding water, which, and I'm trying to think dry on a bit easier too. Yeah, yeah, I've got you. Yep. And the cut, I think the, the cut is the same on that one. Um, yeah. But obviously the yeah. fabric behaves a little bit differently. Do you think the, it's still all good, that cut in, in that particular fabric? Yeah, I think it's still plenty um, supple enough, you know. Um, yeah. Seems to be moving with me pretty well, so I haven't really noticed a huge difference um, right. between the two fabrics. So, no, I think the cut's great. Awesome. And uh, the cuffs are obviously a bit better, you reckon? Yeah, cuffs are great. Um, just uh, you know, not as heavy. Dry pretty quick, so. Cool. And the hoods still working alright? Yeah, yeah, those tunnel hoods. Are, yeah, they're awesome. Anything else you want changed, or you think we can improve on in that one? Maybe get some insulation into these hip pockets. Oh yeah. So just a bit of fuzzy sort of, uh, just something to keep your hands warm there. Yeah? yeah, yeah, you know, just something that. Um, you know, it bounces a bit of heat back. And the zip's holding up all right? Yeah, no, these big chunky zips are real handy. Yeah, cool. And the pockets, the, that pocket size has been good? Yeah, good enough to, you know, bury your hand into without being too big sort of thing. Awesome. Oh, um, oh we'll carry on with a bit more fabric development. Um, We'll see if we can meet in the middle somewhere as far as noise and water retention goes and um, get me another sample on the way.
Cody, come and have a look at this. Good parcel for you, mate. Oh, yeah. This is it, eh? It's, uh, it's nice, eh? You reckon? Yeah, you reckon we go and give it a test? Yeah, I think. We'll give it a run, eh? See if we can pick up something for the barbie. Yep. All right, let's get into it. We're back in the Marlborough High Country after a really long testing and development phase. The timing's not so good. We've um, All the hinds are pregnant and the stags are in velvet. Uh, but there's plenty of pigs around and there should be a few uh, good meat animals, so yeah. let's go and put this final jacket to the test. Yep, yeah, and I'll see if we can put something on the ground, pull off a stalk and um, see how we go, eh? Sounds good. He's actually walking underneath it in sand. Um, and there's, it's pretty much the only big rock. He's just gonna actually angling out towards it now. Hind and yelling over there. See if we can get a stalk on that, try and get that yelling. So it's a good tucker. Yeah, I'd say if we can uh, get across there, I'd say be in for a chance actually. So we've been here for two or three days now, um, testing the, the final prototype of the jacket, Cody. What do you reckon, the final verdict, what do you reckon? No, I think people will be pleased, you know. Packs down small, you know, zips are good. This big beefy zip, you know, you don't have to fiddle around, it's, it's just... You know, manly. It just does up, you know, and, and you got your chest pockets. You know, like I personally don't use them for binos, but you know, cell phone for you know guys doing a bit of filming and stuff like that. You know, you get your pit pit zips for heat dump. Um, you can you know strap your wrist straps up nice and tight if it's raining, and you know all around it just it's shaped well, and I think people enjoy it. How do you reckon this jacket compares to, to what you've had in the past? Um, first thing that comes to mind is, you know, packable, you know, like rain jackets in the past, fairly bulky, you know, you try and pack them down for a big trip, say, into Fiordland or something, when, you know, every 
bit of space is at a premium and, and you know they take up a whole heap of room whereas this this thing here you know it's gonna pack down real small you've put in a lot of time and a lot of testing with those early samples in some pretty nasty horrible weather how did they go for you yeah they they performed you know like out in the boat and stuff like that and and not pretty you know like it's waves crashing over the boat and you're just soaked you know yeah. like on the outside but on the inside sweet as obviously yesterday Cody you showed us that the jacket was definitely quiet enough for bow hunting yeah no well we pulled off a stalk and um, you know got to within you know bow range so 30 yards sort of thing and um, smoked a deer you know so it's definitely quiet enough and it was pretty still conditions so when it's really jacket weather, you know, downpour and all, you know, windy airs, it's, yeah, it's definitely going to be something that you can stalk in.